All right, let's tackle the example questions for the triangle inequality theorem. Recall that the inequality theorem tells us that any given side of a triangle needs to be greater than the difference between the other two sides. Oops, B, not C there. And smaller than the total of the other two sides added together. So if we're looking at our first example here, it says, do the lengths 4, 8, and 11 make a triangle? Well, let's, if we pick any given side for C, let's say that the longest side is C, then 11, make that a little bigger, 11 needs to be greater than the difference between 4 and 8, so 8 minus 4, but less than the total of 8 plus 4. 8 minus 4, of course, is 4, and that's less than 11, and 11 is less than 12, so that works. And we can see that we could pick any three sides or any side we wanted for our third side. If we pick C to be 8, then we'd have to say that 8 needed to be greater than the difference between 11 and 4, whoops, not H, between 11 and 4, but less than the total of 11 plus 4. 11 minus 4, of course, is 7, that's less than 8, and 8 is less than 15. So yeah, this definitely makes the triangle, no problem. Let's take a look at example B. Example B says find the length of the third side of a triangle if the other two sides are 10 and 6. So we're missing side C and we know that it has to be greater than the difference between 10 and 6 but less than the total of 10 plus 6. So C must be greater than 4 but less than 16. So anywhere between, you know, 4.000000 forever as long as you want one, and all the way up to 15.9999999999 as long as you want. Can't quite be 16, and it can't quite be four, but anywhere in between is fine. And then finally, let's take a look at example C. Example C tells us that the base of an isosceles triangle has a length of 24. What can we say about the length of each leg? So this one says that our third side is 24, and 24 needs to be greater than A minus B, but less than A plus B. Now the interesting thing is that this is an isosceles triangle. So for this particular triangle, A and B are the same thing. So we really could just say A minus A, right? So if we have A minus A is less than 24, which is less than A plus A, then we know that the middle side, that, that uh, base of the isosceles triangle, which is 24, has to be greater than something minus itself, so something minus 0. Well, that works. That's no problem. But then it has to be less than something plus itself, and a number plus itself that has to be greater than 24 would have to be at least 12, right? So the A would have to be at least 12. 24 is less than 12 plus 12 point something. So A needs to be anything greater than 12. So either of those two, those two both other sides, either side since they're the same, have to be at least 12. They can be 12.000001 again, but they do need to be at least 12. They can't be 12. They have to be more than 12. They can't be 12, but they can be anything bigger than that. So we can say that the length of each leg is greater than 12 units. There we go.